Transfers live. Lewandowski cannot join Barcelona, De Jong decision. Ransfer news, live. This week, the 2022 summer transfer window finally opens. Manchester United are hoping to cut some early deals, and Eric Ten Hag could be handed a warchest of around £120 million as he attempts what surely has to be quite the rebuild. However, Frankie de Jong may prove to be out of reach after reports outline his desire to stay at Barcelona by buying a new home in the city. Jurian Timber and Darwin Nunez are targets with the Benfica striker also wanted by Tottenham. Spurs are hoping to announce their first summer signing today after Ivan Perisic successfully underwent a medical, though their attempts to sign Alessandro Bastoni have hit a stumbling block. In terms of departures, the club are willing to sell Harry Winks, but also need to offload non-homegrown players too. Sponsored over at Chelsea, Todd Bowley's takeover has led to a swell of activity in the market with Jules Count tip to arrive, while the club has received a key boost in a potential move for Lautaro Martinez of Inter Milan. Belgian striker Romelu Lukaku has been tipped to head in the opposite direction. Robert Lewandowski, meanwhile, has made quite the statement. The Bayern Munich striker says his story with the club is over as links with a move to Barcelona continue. Bayern CEO Oliver Kahn has hit back at those comments, while La Liga president Javier Tebas has said Barcelona are not currently able to sign Lewandowski. In other news of the club, Serge Gnabry has reportedly been offered a new deal amid Arsenal links, and Fabian Ruiz is in a similar position amid talk over his future. Sadio Mane has been lined up as his replacement at the Allianz Arena, although the Liverpool forward is reportedly not asked to leave Anfield despite claims to the contrary. The biggest move on the continent is expected to see Aurelien Chowmany join Real Madrid for around £75 million. Follow all of the latest transfer news live below with Standard Sport. La Liga president Javier Tebas has claimed Barcelona are not currently able to sign Robert Lewandowski. The Bayern Munich striker is desperate to secure a move this summer, insisting his story with the Bundesliga champions is over, but his desire to make the switch to Barcelona could be hit by the club's financial situation. They know what they have to do, Tebas told Marca. They know perfectly well our economic control rules and their financial situation. The rules are there to avoid major economic problems. I don't know if they will sell De Jong, Pedri, or Pepito Perez. They know what they have to do, sell assets and earn more, this is what they have to do. Barca has had many accumulated losses in the last tax years, some which could have been avoided, and they have to stock the pantry. Just as Madrid have stocked up, Barcelona have emptied it. Today they cannot sign Lewandowski. After spending six years at Wolves and making more than 200 appearances, Romain Saiz will leave the club this summer. Besiktas are among the club interested in signing the 32-year-old on a free transfer when his contract expires at the end of the month. The moment I feared the most has come. The moment to say goodbye to you after six wonderful years with you, Sace posted on Instagram. It was an honor and a privilege to wear these colors and to contribute to the success and renewal of this club. I have met exceptional people over these six years, always looking out for me and my family. Thanks to the fans for your support despite the ups and downs, you've always been behind me. Thank you to the various people working at the club for your kindness on a daily basis. Thank you to the various technical and medical staff for your work, for having been an important part of our success. Finally, thank you to all the players that I consider as a family. A wardrobe of exceptional men that I will never forget. Thank you Wolves. I'll be a wolf forever. Christian Eriksen was superb on his return to the Premier League with Brentford in the second half of the season, so he's unlikely to be short of options this summer. Tottenham are reportedly keen on bringing the midfielder back to the club, while the Bees are understandably desperate to keep him. We want to keep everyone including Christian Eriksen, Brentford boss Thomas Frank said. I don't know, I believe there's a good chance, but there's a risk he could sign for another club. He needs to go away with his family and decide what to do. I'm an optimistic person, so I keep believing, but we don't know at this moment in time. Then it's about adding players to improve the squad. Not many, one or two. Ivan Perisic has revealed he watched Tottenham's run-in and says it was obvious his new club would finish above Arsenal and clinch Champions League football after winning the North London Derby on May 12, writes Dan Kilpatrick. Spurs unveiled Perisic as their first signing of the summer on Tuesday, with the 33-year-old signing a two-year deal after leaving Inter Milan on a free transfer. He suggested the move had been in the pipeline for several weeks, saying he was watched Spurs run in as they completed a six-point swing on rivals Arsenal in the final three matches to finish fourth. I'm really excited to start with the Spurs family, Perisic said. 
When I got a call from the coach and sporting director, I said I really wanted to play in the Premier League since 2009, when I starting to play professional football in Belgium. This is the moment and I can't wait. Click here for Perisic's full comments in his first interview. Rafinha finished the season in the stands celebrating Leeds avoiding relegation with the fans, but that could prove to be his last act at the club. The Brazilian wants a move to Barcelona, according to Fabrizio Romano, and is hopeful that can be done this summer. Leeds want a fee in the region of £45 million, though and they will not accept it in installments. Time will tell if Barcelona are able, or even want, to match that valuation. Ajax defender Jurian Timber has spoken out on his future and given an insight into the factors that will shape his decision this summer. The 20-year-old has been heavily linked with a move to Manchester United, now managed by his former boss Eric Ten Hag, as the Premier League side look to bolster their ranks at centre-back and right-back. Timber is currently away on international duty with the Netherlands ahead of Four Nations League matches and will make a call on his future when he then goes on holiday over the summer. However, while he did not rule out a transfer away from Ajax, he revealed that he would only move if he knew he would be getting regular first-team football. In the end, my gut feeling will be the deciding factor, Timber told The Telegraph. Click here for the full story. Tottenham have confirmed the signing of Ivan Perisic on a two-year deal ahead of his contract expiring at Inter Milan. The free transfer will oftically go through on July 1 ahead of the Croatian winger linking up with Antonio Conte, the pair having won the Scudetto together at the Giuseppe Misa two seasons ago. Inter admitted on Monday that they had lost the battle to keep Perisic, who is said to want a new challenge at Tottenham. He flew into London on the weekend to complete a medical on Monday ahead of today's announcement. Read the full story.